Four years ago today, uh, I made a brilliant decision to create a team of motor officers. <laughs> Why don't you reach in your pocket and give me your driver's license? You know, I uh, gotta wear a helmet, it saves lives. Is there anything that saves people up there from giving lectures to people down here? starts at 7, but uh, we're not going to be there, Jeannie. You're not going. No, uh-uh. One blink from you, and they'd put you back up in space oh, permanently. Quit, Matt. Hey, yo. Hey, Johnny Paul. Good sermon today. It's about Cain and Abel. Which is a fine thing, but don't flunk. <laughs> the Andy. And what Beeman? And Claudette, what a wonderful thing. Paul? Huh? I thought they called him playing Claude because he was so homeless. <laughs> well, he's not really homeless. He's got the demon over by. I I'd enjoy more than cooking a big chicken dinner for a house full of relatives. All sort of these guys. The honeybees. <laughs> <laughs> again. Hold it. A plane. We're going to be rescued. They'll see our signal. Plane. Oh. A plane. Oh, I do hope they haven't misspelled SOS. Tell them, Skipper. We didn't have time to put the signal rocks out. Well, why not? Because some numbskull put us in jail. <laughs> oh, the plane. It's going. We need you. Ginger, nobody needs me. Well, I do. Oh, come on, you've got Gilligan, you've got Mr. Howell, you've got the professor. Gilligan is just a boy. Mr. Howell is a married man. And... N never mind, Herman. Well, when I come into a room and everybody suddenly stops talking, it irks me. <laughs> it even makes me mad when you start spelling out stuff. We well, were just all upset about you working so hard. Yes, dear. And for such a low salary. Do you know what you're going to do first thing tomorrow morning? Well, of course I do. I'm going to wake up. <laughs> you are going to wake up, and you're going to march.